LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a huge morning with a new week with incredible great news about the checks. Lots of checks, $100,000 of checks in every U.S. state done by executive order. And in this recording, we're going to go over those incredible fourth stimulus checks that you need to get right now. Because why? The economy is changing very dramatically, and we have a financial cliff in front of us. And with a financial cliff around the corner, you can't wait to get these sums of money. Stay later in this recording. Stay to the very end as we go over these incredible checks. Step one for you is subscribe. Step two is become a member. Go right in this video and get ready for the biggest payout you've seen of a generation. $100,000 in every U.S. state. This is federal stimulus done by the president, not done by your state. You don't like your state? That's good. A lot of people don't like their state. This is not their money. This is not their, their law. This is from the federal government, and it was made law in the month of March. If you have gotten it, single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it. Rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, uh, if you haven't had the second cup of coffee, you get it as well. The toast is toast, and the butter is buttering, and the coffee is brewing on a beautiful, brand new morning to LA. We're going to look in the new week and the new month. An issue is the money and also the recession. A recession's underway, but Americans are having problems with analysts. Why problems with analysts? Because analysts continue to tell you that the good times are here to roll, good times are here to stay, untrue. The analysts continue to tell you that we're at the bottom of the market, untrue. The analysts continue also to tell you that get ready for a rebound, and the rebound's underway. Not true, we're going the other direction, folks. That's why you need to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Also, later in this recording, we'll go over the latest details on the illustrious Build Back a Better Act. It's getting done. But when, where, and how much money? Preview, you don't wait for that money. You get this money across the board. We'll be going on the student loan debt forgiveness. We'll be going over the situation on gasoline. And we'll be going over what else to expect this week. Jay Bowen, Joe Biden, and more. It's a big, bold, beautiful day. Become a member and stay with me as Mornings LA kicks up its feet from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big day, and it starts right now. And good morning, everybody. Oh, yeah, I've had a beautiful day. It is a gorgeous day along the coast here in Santa Monica, California. A forced stimulus check was done by the President of the United States back in the month of March. Have you gotten? If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Allied, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, heading to number two with a brand new Allied coming in a less then 30 days. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, go under this video and get ready to click a few other buttons <laughs> at the top of the chat. And soon under the video as well, you're going to see the link to subscribe to LA2 and LA3. That is the way the two new channels coming to LA's family. And they're going to help you get more money and more information on a regular basis. More about that later in a second. The four stimulus checks in every U.S. state were done by the President of the United States in the month of March. And those checks have been paying out about $100,000. We're going to get that as a family later in this recording. Stay with me in just a second. But first, we start with the breaking news. The breaking news is the why. Why do you need to get these checks right across the board? You may be struggling a little bit at the moment, but imagine how bad it's going to be when there's a financial cliff. Imagine how bad it's going to be when there's a recession. Well, here's the wake-up call. We're already in a recession. And the problem today is not so much that, but the analysts. They're actually a little bit part of the problem right now. <laughs> why is that? Because they're continually feeding out False positives, which are very dangerous. What did they say in the last 24 hours? They are now saying that, well, maybe a recession hasn't started because the jobs number was so strong. Let me go over this ebb and flow and what the narrative is at issue starting right now on a big, bold, beautiful day here live on air. The recession, 
Is it underway? It is. What is a recession? Recession is defined as two negative quarters of GDP growth. A quarter is three months of this year. The first quarter was negative. We already know that. 1.6% down. Second quarter ended in late, ended on June 30th. What is the official announcement? It's not coming until July 28th from the Department of Labor. But you don't wait for their announcement because we had the guidance two Fridays ago. When the Atlanta Fed at GDP Now, which is a tracking tool, part of J Powell's Atlanta Fed, or part of J Powell's Federal Reserve, announced that the second quarter ended in June with again negative GDP growth. That's gross national product, how big the economy is growing or shrinking. There you go. There's the confirmation and second quarter of negative GDP growth. Now, here's what's really ridiculous. A ridiculous thing is that a recession is defined only one way. There's no second definition of recession. It's not like, you know, uh, if you're in the South or West and, and instead of saying tomato, you say tomato. In the, you know, in the New England area, if you say recession, it means something different. No, there's only one definition of recession. Are we in a sec are we in a recession? Yes. Why? Because we've had two negative quarters of GDP growth. Has the official announcement come? No, it's not coming to July 28th, but no one believes then the Atlanta Fed is wrong. Why? Because they have a 20-year track record of being accurate. His, uh, Jay Powell's team out of Atlanta is very accurate on this number. In fact, how accurate are they believed? Well, they're so accurate that when we came back from that 4th of July weekend, Wall Street traded down dramatically. Stocks, bonds, crypto, all to embed the risk that we are in a recession right now to price in a downward economy into the markets. What does that mean? You want to price in a lower stock market, a loyal, lower oil industry, loyal, a higher bond industry, I should say higher bond industry, if we are in a recession. So that's what they made a major pick of it on Monday, on Tuesday, the first day after the 4th of July weekend. Now, what happened on Thursday? On Thursday, you know what happens. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's it's Lobster Fest uh, week. You know, the, 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 the free two-for-one lobsters. No, you don't know that. You just don't, you do not go to have lobsters. You know whatever Thursday morning is. It is the new jobless claims number. It's people who newly went on unemployment, meaning they were not un unemployed before. These are people newly on unemployment. Now, every week we also get the, um, the continuing unemployment claims. People who were unemployed are still unemployed. Now, the number being released every Thursday is not a good number. Nine out of 10 analysts say it's not a good, or they just sort of avoid the subject matter. Uh, here's, a, here's a side note. I've been forgetting to tell you this. For the last three weeks, the Thursday jobless number has not been front page news on most uh, industry websites. So it's like it is being announced, and where is the results? I've had to actually search for it. It's not being put as a front page news story. You see what's going on here? It's not a good number, and it's being thrown under the rug. Is my spin on the situation? My opinion of the situation. The number, the, the the other financial news check, which the LA is competing against, they're not even running the number as a lead story on Thursdays. They're they're they're, they're dropping the story. They're burying the story. Now, is it a bad number? It is a bad number. Is it a horrible number? It's not a horrible number, but it's not a good number. The number of jobless claims, we've been covering this on this channel since this channel launched on April 25th, 2020, and it should be about 180,000. Why do we know that? Because that's what it was when we came out of the pandemic. It's been tracking back up. This is the year. For 2022, it was here, then it went down. It should be that where it should be right now. And then... Yeah, there it started to go. It started to go back up. That's the worrisome. And how much has it gone up? It's gone up 35,000 per week in the last uh, three weeks. That's not good. It went up 5,000 just last week alone. It's 235,000 now. That's a big tr trouble, sir. Now, it was over a week ago that I said to you, you know what? What number is going to cause analysts to stop saying it's, it's, it's a good labor market? And I said probably about 240. They, they they are trying to spin the 230 as though 235 as though it's a good number. I think when we get to 240, they're not going to be able to spin it anymore. So that's what happened into Thursday. Then Friday came the big trouble. 
It's not the trouble with the economy. It's the trouble with the analysts. It's the trouble with the people that are telling you what's going off your money. If you're trying to prepare your family and your household to prepare where you're going and getting as much money, getting as much stimulus, laying this according, you're trying to prepare your uh, your independence, your financial independence. And then there's analysts out there saying, don't worry, you're all good. That's very bothersome, folks. That's why Allied is expanding. That's why this channel is going after to become number two in America. That's why there's two new channels coming, Ally 2 and Ally 3. Because the analysis out there is so it is setting you up for such peril that Americans can't do that. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member to LA to this channel. And then go under the live chat, and I put a link already for LA2 to subscribe and LA3 to subscribe. It's coming in less than 90 days. What's also coming in less than 90 days? The financial cliff. It's coming in September. What's also coming uh, in less than 90 days? A lot of other developing details. We'll get into those in a second. But here's what happened on Friday. This last Friday... The monthly number, which is the job creation number, basically, the non-farm payroll was released. It was a major beat. It was better than expected. It said 250000 It was three seventy plus. And that's still a drop from the month of May, but it was a major beat. Now, you know how I operate. You know how you operate. We need to look at the data, the number. Why did the number go up? Was it all industries showing major improvement? No. See, again, this is what the analyst is saying. There's a lot of jobs out there. No, this number was really geared upward because of travel and leisure. Travel and leisure had a major pop. It had a major pop. It just really did well. It had really did well in the month of June. We all know that. Everyone's traveling in the month of June. And the number went up really well. And yet the analyst saying, you know, the whole labor market is really strong. No, not the whole labor market strong. In fact, we saw some parts of the labor market contracted in this number. So what you need to know is that um, the, the, it was a major beat. But here's the issue. Here's the issue. That labor payroll numbers from June are not going to reflect a recession in June. <laughs> They're probably not reflected until, you know, maybe October. Let's go over what's going on. While you have a recession defined, the hurt of a recession is not to January 2023. But the financial cliff will not be seen until at least about September. If that financial cliff is, cliff is manifest itself in September, you don't see it until October. Let's go over what's going to happen. Let's go over what's going to happen. First, you have a financial cliff. When Americans are walking their song, singing their walking along, singing their song, and then suddenly, oh, they fall off the financial cliff because the event of today is different than tomorrow. And they did not know the economy is going to hell in a hell basket in 24 hours. That's what happens a financial cliff. They don't declare for unemployment assistance within 24 hours. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time. First, they look for the job, then they don't find it, then they look a little bit more, then they claim unemployment assistance. It could be a two-week delay. It could be a two-week delay before they even claim for it. Then how long, how long until we see that data? Another week. See what's going on? It's almost a month until you see the financial cliff in the numbers, not from us, not from your neighbor or someone that's laid off, but in the numbers. You don't see the financial cliff in the f payroll until about a month after the hurt starts. Jay Powell's raising interest rates. He continues to raise interest rates. And as he raises interest rates, businesses are making less money. We've only had one quarter of corporate earnings, Q1, really, so far this year, that reveals the hurt of Jay Powell raising interest rates on corporations the second quarter is going to start reporting. Uh, we had one or two companies last week, but the second quarter is going to start picking up this week. Those companies, as they realize their bottom line is shrinking, will cut costs. And to cut costs, they're going to lay you off. And to lay you off, they're not going to generate as much non farm payroll jobs. So imagine what's happening. Jay Powell's move and pivot from May is going to take an impact on their corporate earnings from, uh, from July. That's going to be revealed in in just a few weeks, and then the and then the non farm payroll is not going to manifest itself until August. See how it's delayed? You do not have analysts tell you it's a great economy based upon data that's delayed. That's what's ridiculous. 
you don't rely upon delayed data to tell you what the current situation is. And you know what you also don't do that with? Your stimulus. You don't wait to get stimulus uh, for your family based upon what's happening today because it's delayed. You get the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state far before this economy gets much worse. You get the money right away because the economy is going to get very bad very quickly. And you don't wait for it to get bad. You don't wait for your back to be against the wall. You get the money beforehand. And that's why I'm going to go over these incredible checks later in this recording. Go under this video and become a member. And we're going to go over those incredible checks in every U.S. state. I hope that you now see that what the financial analysts are doing for Americans is really setting you up for peril. Now, they're doing something else. In addition to reading the data wrong, in addition to reading the data wrong, what are they also doing? They're telling you sometimes that the market is done with the hurt. Good times are here to stay from here on out. <laughs> you know, I, 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 oh, goodness. I, every time I hear it, I just really want to roll my eyes. I'm like, and I look at them and I think, you're up to no good. <laughs> That's my opinion. Uh, they're up to no good. You, you know, you tune into someone and they book an analyst. And the, the first question is, what stocks are you recommending? Is that your opening question to the analyst? What stocks are you recommending? So in a, in a recession, which no one should be buying stocks, well, let me, let me make it clear. In a downward spiraling economy that's approaching the hurt of a recession, when we're down 26% and we know that in a recession, stocks are down 40%, so we got 20% more to go down, the opening question is, what stocks are you recommending? Yeah, I'm recommending this. Well, wait a second. Did someone not tell these two people, we got 20% down in the stock market to still go? We have 20 more percent down in the stock market to go. And the opening question is, what stocks are you recommending? Uh, you see what's going on? Why are they asking that question? They're asking that question because they bring viewership in by talking about stock buying and stock selling. That's what they do. They bring viewership in and they get you to you know in, in, get interested in them based upon stock recommendations. I don't do stock recommendations. LA doesn't do stock recommendations. Never has. I don't find it. I don't find it. You know, I'm really good at. It, first of all, I could I could kill it out of the market. I've, I've been doing this for many many years. But I, I don't. We don't do financial. We don't do stock recommendations here on this channel. Now, for them to lead with that question, and then the backup question, and then the answer is, here's the stocks I recommend, one, two, three. You just want to stare at the person, the analyst, and say, do you not know we're going into recession? Stocks are going to be down 20% more. Now, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. You'll just 20 minutes later hear 40 other analysts coming out and say, you shouldn't be buying anything. I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying any stocks in this market. Are you crazy? Why is that analyst telling you to buy stocks, that, that first guy or, or gal? Because they make money. They make money based upon a transaction. They do not make money if you don't buy a stock or sell a stock. And imagine you're going to have two years of not buying or selling. Yeah, they don't make money that way. How about a real estate broker? They don't make money if you don't buy or sell a house. They don't make money. They want you to buy or sell the house, whether the market's down. They're going to tell you it's great to, to sell and, and bad to buy. That's exactly what they're going to do. It's a very sort of, uh, uh, you know, altruistic market in which people are going to say things based upon what they want you to do for their financial uh, livelihood. Now, let's go over to the rest of the situations unfolding left and right. Uh, Joe Biden is going to do student loan debt forgiveness. That announcement is less than uh, 30 days away. I've been projecting this for a while. The confirmation comes from the head of education, Miguel Cardona, that confirms that announcements come from the president of the United States shortly. And we already know that Congress goes on recess in late August. And we already know that this would be done by executive order. So Joseph Biden, this is a big event. I mean, this is not something you're going to sign at 5 o'clock on a Friday night. He's going to have that table. He's going to have all the, the, the backup singers from Congress. <laughs> Did I just call them back? I'm serious. I like that expression. I don't know where that came from. But he's going to have a... <laughs> 
he's gonna have all his backup singers from Congress. <laughs> yeah, no, with the uh, with the disco hairstyle. <laughs> no, I just, I'm sorry. He's gonna have all his backup singers from Congress there to to be around the table when he signs this into the law, uh, because it's a big event. It's gonna be ten thousand dollars for individuals who make one hundred fifty thousand or less. That's what he has always said he's gonna do. So why would he do anything else other than that? It's not a difficult thing to predict here, folks. He said it a thousand times. That's all he's going to do. Uh, 150000 or less, the, your annual income, $10,000 forgiven. He already forgave student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, went to work in the nonprofit or public sector. Individuals who uh, whose debts were procured for it by fraud. I keep on forgetting to say something on camera. Um, one viewer sent me a beautiful message on Facebook, private messaging. Said, L, like... How do I learn about my debts already being forgiven? And I haven't been covering as much as I would like to. So let me recover this. I did this a lot maybe about two months ago. If you currently have federal loans, federal student loan debts, and you believe that something I just covered qualifies you for, for uh, forgiveness, then what do you do? You go to the Department of Education's website. You go under the press releases. You see everything that they've really announced. Maybe go almost three months back, read the press releases, and um, then look up a series of items that they often talk about, like the income-based repayment program um, and similar. Also look under the uh, student loan debt forgiveness in the newsletter. I have it in there. Those are the elements in there. It would track through Department of Education. Viewers have also asked me, is this something I have to do or is it something automatic? Eh, <laughs> you're getting a forgiveness of money from a lender. Do you think the lender is automatically going to do it for you? You have to presume they're not. I mean, they should, but you have to presume they're not. So you need to take the ball on it, lead the ball on it. A lot of wonderful viewers like Chef uh, John Mayer has gotten his debts forgiven and other people, please go do it across the board. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible sums of money. We're going to go over all these incredible sums of money in every U.S. state. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state, $100,000. We're going to go over how to get that money in just a second. Then we're going to be turning to uh, a preview of Evening Delay tonight, your benefits going up, and also preview of what's going on with the Build Back Better Act. It's going to happen. It's going to get passed, but it's not going to pass in time for you, for time for this financial cliff. You don't wait for that Build Back Better Act, and I'll explain to you why in the second half. A couple of things for you to do. Go under this video and subscribe if you've not already subscribed to LA1. You're watching LA1 right now. Subscribe to LA2 and subscribe to LA3. And then to become a member to this channel, which you need to right away to get these big checks, go right in this video and become a member. Click the link where it says join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Count Casino VIP. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with the toast, toast, and the butter, butter, and the coffee is brewing. It's a beautiful morning of morning to LA. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as the deliciousness continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. 
And the excitement continues in a big, bald, beautiful morning from Mornings Are Light. How are you? Good morning. Welcome to Cynthia. Welcome, Cynthia, who became a member during the commercial break. Hopefully, you do as well. If you're not a member, go right on this video and become a member. Get these incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Married couple, $150,000 less. You deserve them. We're going to go over these incredible checks in just a second. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're watching L8-1. And also subscribe to LA2 and LA3 coming to you in just less than 90 days from now. You know, it's a great morning, and the morning is feeling nice and crisp, and also really crisp is a lot of dollar bills in your wallet, in your hand, and that's what's been happening. Back in the month of March, the President of the United States did executive orders, and those executive orders passed a series of laws, federal laws, to provide you for some of those checks. Let's go over these checks right now. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, more. Cat, longtime viewer, says, LA, you do eligibility really well. My focus is to make sure you're qualified for this money. Why did this money come to this channel? Back in the month of March, viewers said, LA, find a stimulus, find a stimulus checks, because the Build Back Better Act hasn't gotten done. Not the first time viewers have asked me to find money. And I found these. These were wonderful and are still wonderful sums of money. It's about $100,000, a series of different checks. Now, number two, you need big checks because we have a financial cliff coming. You need big checks because we have two years of recession coming. Puny little six hundred dollar checks ain't gonna pay anything, let alone two gallons, two of uh, two fill ups of the of the car, the gas tank, at the gas station. So that is why you need this money. Number three, it's important to understand that you need to forget everything you knew about twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one. This is twenty twenty two. It's a different year. It's a different economy. It's a different political landscape. You need to get this money this way. Not going to come to your wallet automatically $100,000. Anyway, says, I got $100,000 uh, previously automatically in my wallet. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. You got $600. You want $300? Great. How much are you going to survive the financial cliff? You're not even going to get a, a, a rope to survive the financial cliff, a $300 stimulus check. And that's why you got to get these big sums of money. All right, let's go over all this incredible money with the first check right now. I'm getting a lettering system on this channel. And the first check, of course, starts at the beginning of the alphabet. Check A. It's a wonderful, beautiful $6,500 to $12,000 for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And it is wonderful. If you're on benefits as well, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, go under this video. Step two, become a member. Join the channel. It says join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cows, you know, VIP. Just as Cynthia in the live chat just became a member minutes ago. You do the same. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the member alert and then go down to your seat, check A. Click the link. You go into the nationwide website. Then choose your state. Then bounce. It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. Whoa. That is great. Tracking time is about one week out, but we're not done there yet. No, we're going to go get check B. <laughs> Look at that. It's $15,000, $80,000. Look how wonderful that money is. And viewers have been getting this. They've been tracking about $66,000 to $80,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if, if, you, excuse me, if you own, if you're on benefits, go get it. How do you get this wonderful check? You know the routine. Go under the video, join the channel. Then click the link. Uh, then watch for that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the member alert. When you receive it, go down the newsletter. You find Check B. There it is. Click the link. You go into the nationwide website. Choose your state and you pounce. And there you go. Look how good we've done. Look how well we've done. <laughs> it's only been, what, two minutes in this section of the video? We've done $12,000 for check A, $80,000 for check B. There you go. We're at $100,000. We're not stopping there yet. We're going to go get check C's. Check C's are an MSC on average, $2,000 a month over 12 months. Many viewers, though, are getting a lot more money, upwards of $45,000. Lots of viewers tracking on average at. And then other viewers are getting over $150,000. How do you get this check C? You go under the video, but join the channel. Get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then go down to where you see Check C. It tells you where to call, who to call, and what to say. Check C is likely to be the most important checks 
of 2022. Chexy is more than one check. It's checks. Why? Eviction moratorium, gone. You need to go get some check C for rent. Mortgage forbearance, gone. You need to go get some check C for mortgage assistance. Utility uh, moratorium, meaning they cannot turn off the utility bill if you don't pay it, gone. They can turn it off now. You need to go get some check C, especially with that heating oil bill and, and similar coming later this year. Horrible through the roof. Go get some check C. Viewers have been getting check C's for a while, and the huge numbers date back to the very first days of this channel. Today, this channel has gotten about $50 million for viewers, uh, and a lot of this has been from Jack C. Let's look at the numbers. Would you like $20,000 to $30,000 for rent? Go get Jack C. Would you like uh, these numbers for utilities? Go get Jack C. Even Mark's brother lock got $15,000. Would you like uh, uh, $25,000 a year over 10 years? That's Mark's brother law. How about combinations of it? Nisi um, was at twenty three thousand. Now she's at fifty thousand. Mark is at thirty two thousand. Now he's at one hundred sixty six thousand. Yeah, he got check B just a few days ago. Grew him from fifty to hundred. Grew him from thirty two thousand to fifty thousand to hundred thousand to one sixty six. And Lorraine, uh, who is in the live chat, I believe right now, she's at one hundred five, and then she went even higher. I think she's at one fifty. I don't know the exact number, but she's doing incredible. If you missed. L.A. Light Live overnight. Oh, it was a well-watched show. L.A. Live, of course, starts every night at 5.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's East Coast, 8.45. There was uh, an individual. What was his name? I think it was Willie or William or Wesley. It was something like that. He was in the live chat early on, around 6.45, and he got $10,000 for rent just a few days ago. And he got another sum of money. I believe it was four or five thousand dollars for another item. I think it was utilities. It was incredible. Now let me tell you the reaction in the live chat. Here's uh, here's some commentary. <laughs> Get ready for my commentary. The immediate reaction was exactly what it should be. Congratulations. I want him to inspire the people in the live chat. I want Lorraine and Johnny and Margaret and and, and Nisi to inspire you. The initial reaction was congratulations. The next question was what state are you in? Uh, you know. I know why the persons were asking that question. Again, this is federal stimulus. This is not state stimulus. So don't ask the question as though, oh, well, he's in that one state where they have a lot of money. They're not helping in my state. Stop it. This is federal stimulus. Stop with that false narrative. This is money from the federal government. This is not state stimulus. I don't cover state stimulus on this channel. Every time that someone says, that's Santa Monica stimulus. It's not even outside of Los Angeles, the stimulus. Is. <laughs> I just want to, you know, yeah, yeah. It's like the Incredible Hulk. Don't, don't make me angry. <laughs> this is federal stimulus from the federal government. It's not from your state. It's not from your city. It's not from, um, it's not from Crayolaville. <laughs> there you go. Crayolaville doesn't really help just because there's a lot of crayons. <laughs> there you go. So go under this video, become a member. Let's go over the recap of what you got to do. Step one. Subscribe. Go on to this video, hit that subscribe button. Step two, there is a button on the video where it says join the channel. Hit that and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, member of this channel, L81. And number three, go to the Finance Channel and hit the alert button so you have all your notifications set to all on. Then, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you get that alert. Remember, it's Pacific Standard Time. If you're not on the West Coast, adjust accordingly. That's the number one thing that people a trip up on Pacific Standard Time. If you're not on the West Coast, adjust accordingly. Number two, you'll get an alert that says new LA late post. Then down that alert, it'll say click here to go to the post. You go right in the post and you're done. Absolutely incredible. Also, your benefits are going up. Your benefits are going up if you're on SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits and more. What are we looking at at the moment? We're currently looking at the July, August, and September CPI-W number to be coming in. And we're going to see if uh, the chief actuary, Social Security, has it right. He was looking at the main number, and he believes gasoline is, is leveled out or coming down. And that based upon that... He's looking at about an 8% lift of your benefits, which is about $300 a month a lifetime. But he doesn't know firmly until he sees the June, excuse me, the July, August, and September CPI-W. It's a subsection of CPI, which is inflation. And of course, inflation is dependent upon gasoline. We know that. 
And gasoline has tracked lower in the last, you know, four weeks. So this is an interesting read. It's getting very dicey. Before gasoline had tracked down, he made this announcement. And I said, I think he's undervaluing it. I think it would be 9%. <laughs> now that gasoline's drained down, uh, hard to read it. Um, Nita, what's going on with the Build Back Better Act? The Build Back Better Act, the best way you can describe it was this well-written line by a journalist just days ago. I think it was two, 20, two days ago. The... The, the author of the article said that to source the article with, with congressional leaders on the record and off the record, about a dozen uh, interviews were conducted. And of those dozen interviews conducted, the responses said the author of the article went from Bill Bad Better Act is never going to get done <laughs> to, to Bill Bad Better Act is going to get signed into law tomorrow. <laughs> And he was the person who was not joking. It was literally that gamut of differing answers from the same people. Why is this happening? It's happening because Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin, in my opinion, correctly made a determination months ago to keep their negotiations relatively quiet between them. So they're not telling everyone else what's going on with them. Their official statements are, it's going well. Uh, Sam Runyon, who I really just, I'm not happy with a congressional um, uh, press individual that Joe Manchin has in Runyon. I don't like someone doing this. Why? Well, let me tell you what he's doing. Runyon is running very angry, negative comments. You know, you're elected to Congress to work. You're not elected to Congress to say, I'm not doing anything. You're not elected to Congress to say, um, uh, to, to say angry, negative things. You're not there for that. You're there elected to to pass something. Now, so Runyon is is more mansionist than Mansion. Mansion hasn't been talking this way. Run, Runyon's comments this last week were, uh, there's big problems. There's, uh, there's major differences, far from over, inconceivable it's ever going to happen, uh, you know, far out. It's just really just horribly blatantly negative remarks it sounds as though he's trying to be negative like he's like you know we can all try to be negative if we want to and it sounds like that's what he's trying to do in in, in his quotes uh and so i'm really not i'm not really casting a regards to what he's saying anymore the representation from schumer and pelosi is the votes before july i'm not putting much weight in that either because they have a very bad track record what is my takeaway build that better i guess is going to get done it's going to get done it's not going to get done before it's not going to get you a check in your hand before the financial cliff that's why you can't wait for it uh it's also not going to get you uh massive sums of money like I have for you right now. I have for you, you know, approximately $100,000. Build Bad Better Act will give you fifteen dollars to $80,000 across many different programs if you have to do certain things to get the money when it becomes law. So it's not even as good as what I have for you right now. It will be in addition to the money I have for you right now. So understand you get the money I have for you right now, and then you get the Build Back Better Act money on top of that. We'll be going over the provisions of that Build Back Better Act in prime time tonight on evenings LA at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Meantime, what's coming to this channel? In less than 90 days, you're going to see a brand new look. You're going to have not one, but three l You're currently watching L8, which I'm affectionately calling L8-1. L8-2 and L8-3 are coming to this channel shortly. It's designed to give you more of exactly what you like more often and in broader scope. And that is the deliciousness at the issue. Two new channels are coming to this to this family, LA2 channel and the LA3 channel. So if you're under the live chat and you see a button that says subscribe, subscribe to LA2 or subscribe to LA3. I'll also be sending out some, some links for you in the days to come. Let me tell you what excitement is going to be coming with you. In LA2, we'll be focusing on stimulus and humor. Because a lot of you want some more humor back. And while LA3 will focus more on Wall Street and cooking. Because a lot of you want a lot of cooking back on this channel. So we're covering everything that you need in different places. LA2 will have a 24-hour... Uh, LA2 will have a 24-7 live show on stimulus. So if you ever want to know exactly that moment what's happening with the Build Back Better Act 
or on your stimulus checks, there's going to be a live show running around the clock on that channel. LA3 will have a live show running around the clock about Wall Street. So if you ever want to know what's happening with stocks, bonds, or crypto at a particular moment, that will be live at all around the clock. Meantime, we'll have brand new shows and some of your favorite shows coming back for new seasons. Uh, Calcino, which you enjoyed in fall of last year and season one, will be back with season two. That's on LA2's channel. There's a brand new show called Sir Seriously, starring Sir, Lo Sir Loin. And then Blaine 66 will be headlined Tier 2 for a new season. We haven't seen Tier 2 for over two years. Can you imagine? And then on LA3, we're going to have a new show called Cooking with LA and the LA Special. A lot of great stuff. For now, just do me a favor. Go under this video and subscribe to LA2 and subscribe to LA3. The membership is this channel. The membership is this channel. The newsletter, the information about getting this check is this channel. This is your this is your baby. And coming up next is Noontime. On Noontime, we'll give you the, tr if you're watching the show live, coming up next is Noontime. And that goes over the routing times of your checks, how soon they're going to come. Uh, we'll have all of that deliciousness. Stay here on this video. It'll automatically take you there. We have a big week ahead of us with a lot of major announcements on so many financial fronts. We'll have corporate earnings. We'll have a guidance on what's going on in that F July FOMC meeting for the J-PAL. And we'll have more guidance on what's happening with the Build Back Better Act and also student loan debt forgiveness. Those four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state, so go right on this video. Become a member. Become a member right now. Join this channel. And from the shores of Santa Monica, California, have a beautiful morning. Thank you for joining me again live on air. The toast was toasting. The butter was buddy. The coffee was brewing. The bacon was missing. But, you know, we can, you know, it's low, it's, it's, it's low sodium day. <laughs> I'm trying to justify the lack of bacon once again it's on the set. But have a beautiful day. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, keep it positive. Get that money right across the board. Do not wait. And stay with Ally for more.